Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Sakura Swim Club. In the last episode, we were talking to our dad, who was talking about marriage or something? I don't know, it was a very, he was hinting at or something. And then he was saying he had high expectations for me. Right, too much. I just want to be myself, dad. And now we are going back to school, I think. Or we fell asleep. I don't know. Hmm. Oh, we fell asleep. Rays of light dance across my face. With great effort, I pull myself up. I stumble over the window, the light blinding me as I try to look out. Ah, the light. It burns. My eyes eventually adjust. It looks like another sunny day today. Yay, I love sunny days. Good morning, world. No one there to say good morning back. Except for the birds. Was I really expecting anything else, though? Nah, not really. Ooh, I like the paintings. So, this is day two. It seems to be going far faster than I was expecting. Really? You mean... I mean, it's only the second day. My currents billow as a strong wind howls through the window. That's impossible, bro. Look at the windows. They're closed. Summer storms are supposed to be coming in today. Oh man. Oh, not monsoons. Typhoons. I really hope that it isn't raining by the time I get home. I hate rain. Because you just get wet all the time. Like, dang it! <laughs> Knowing my luck though, it probably will be. Oh man, now you jinxed it. Now you jinxed it to not having rain. Is that how it works? I didn't have to run myself ragged to get to school on time, thankfully. Woo! But... As I reach the front gate of the school, I can't help but notice someone standing at the gate. Who? The teacher? Oh, Taromi. Fancy seeing you here, Keita. Everyone goes through this gate eventually. Or just hops the gate for some reason. I don't know. Not everyone goes through this gate to get in this school, you know. Really? Oh. They will see, they hop the gate. You get the idea. It's not really special to see me here. Nonetheless, it's nice to see you. What's with your smile there? You, you have like some, some kind of look at me. Nice to see you too. So, I heard a bit about you through rumors. Oh man, rumors? I, I thought there were no rumors. Are you really the son of who I think you are? Who? Oh, the son of my dad? <gasps> yes? Oh no, someone's already worked out who I am. Dang it. Uh, yes. What of it? You're not really what I have expected. What were you expecting exactly? Everyone talks about your father as being larger than life. What does that mean? Is he big? I mean, I haven't seen my dad yet. An extremely charismatic and talented man. Oh. But that doesn't mean I have to be it. You know, he's putting such pressure on me to be, you know, that talented man he wants. I can't do it. You, you're quite different from what I've seen so far. Well, I mean, I'm not my really, you know, I don't really take on the trait of my dad. Yeah, exactly. Why should I be the same as my father? I'm me. That's all I want to be. Yes. Good job, Kata. Right. I see. She nods thoughtfully to herself. Is this the third school that you've transferred to this year? Wait, third school? 
How many semesters are there? Isn't there only two semesters? I don't know. You guys leave in the comments to let me know, because I'm I don't know. I'm confused. Yeah. Why do you move around so much? It's not really my choice to. My dad. It isn't your choice? Wow, she seems really shocked about that. Look, I'm just going to say this to you. My father has expectations. And I haven't been meeting those expectations. It's something I'd rather not talk about with a stranger. So, please don't bring this up again, okay? Unless we get closer, then maybe. Right. Sorry. I was just curious. She seems like she's sincerely sorry. Well, that's good. It really is my own problem to deal with. So, let's not talk about it, okay? Okay, you've got a deal. So, looking forward to class today? No. If this wind weren't howling, I'd be happy as can be. I know what you mean. On windy days like these, I always have... Problems. What do you mean problems? You mean like... Wind blowing up your skirt? Problems? Problems? What kind of... Oh, I... I was right. The wind begins to howl even louder. Great gusts sweep across the school's entrance. Hiromi tries to prevent her skirt from flying upward, but she completely fails. Why does she have stockings on? Or... I, are those stockings? Are there stockings up to, like, the waist? I don't know. She leans forward and places her hands to the front of her skirt, only for the back of it to fly up. Leaving me with an unobscured view. Her face becomes a strange mixture of despair, panic, and embarrassment. No, why now? Well, I mean, you're talking about the wind. Her stockings are overlaying laced white panties. Oh. Wait, did I see stockings? There it's something say something else. I think that's that stocking. I don't know, I don't remember anymore. It just like went out of my brain. <laughs> it clings so tightly to her form that there's no room to imagine anything. Well, you can imagine without the stockings. Or or panties. I, I mean uh uh Kata, what are you thinking about? It's all very plainly exposed to the naked eye. Wildly flailing all around her, her skirt is completely flipped inside out. Oh, that's not good. She is at the complete mercy of these winds. The wind only grows stronger too as the storm draws closer. What? Why are you looking at me like that? I... 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 Uh... I'm looking at your bow tie. Yes. What is wrong with you? I think she had bigger problems than what I'm doing. How are you so calm in a situation like this? Well, it's not like I can pull down your skirt for you. I mean, you probably just slap me. She tries to cover herself, but no matter where she places her hands, the winds reveal something. I, I need to get out of this wind. Her eyes begin to dart all over the place, desperately trying to search for shelter in this storm. Uh, why don't you just go into school? I mean, there's probably no wind there. D don't just stand there and stare. Help me. I, I just told you. Go, go into school. How exactly am I supposed to help her? Uh, please, this is so embarrassing. I can't handle it. For a split moment, she takes her hands away from her skirt. The result is what anyone could have expected. It completely flies up. Oh. I thought I was going to say it completely flies off, like the skirt just goes away. <laughs> no, not like this. Well, I mean, you, you let go of the skirt, Hiromi. She takes off, disappearing into the school. So, so look, she finally listens to my, my suggestion. So, 
That's why she doesn't like windy days. Or maybe you shouldn't wear skirts on windy days? Somehow, I get the impression she's not going to be leaving until the wind dies down. Well, I mean, she... What? Dies down? Why would she leave the school? It's school day. It's the start of the school. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the wind blowing up Hiromi's skirt. If you guys did, then please slime the like button and help support me by sharing this video and by subscribing down below. Thank you everybody for watching this episode and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye.